Hi, Alex here from Rebeloper.com and in this video we are going to finally implement the gameplay for our ACT game. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, let's open up our uh, project and first of all let's commit, okay? Because we have worked so many, so much uh, during the last days, so I would just type in here and I would just push the remote. Okay, in this video we are going to create our gameplay. So, the gameplay is very very simple. There will be a lot of, well a few, well, maybe 10 or 20 donuts of different sizes displayed on the scene and the user needs to tap on the biggest donut. If he does that, the score goes up. If not, then it will be game over and the game over scene will be presented with the score and the best score, of course. Uh, so, let's get started. Let's go to our gameplay here. And as you can see, we already have our did move to view presented here. And what we want to do here is create our uh, buttons well because we want to add buttons here so uh, let's see now we are going to use let's create first of all a single of button so i would just call this a let donut and that will be a b uh, the button and it will be an image named and let's grab our first donut here and the action should be first well, let's just print out here and now let's uh, set the size, so donut, scale to and the weight percentage should be, let's make it a really big one, 0 0.5 and the Z position, so Z position equals to 1 because we will set the background's Z position to 0 later on. And now, finally, let's add our child to the scene. So, add child donut. Okay, uh, yeah, maybe let's add our, well, not maybe, we need to add our position to be CG point equals, equals CG point and that will be a zero and before we do that we want to make our anchor point uh, let's not do that for now because we then we need to calculate with minus uh, uh, percentages so I would just type in here much easier in this scenario for the gameplay so Let's build and run and I would just choose to be launched uh, with this and uh, not game over gameplay so we don't have to go over and over to the gameplay through our main menu. Okay, let's choose our iPhone 10 simulator here and let's see how all of this looks. Let's go back to gameplay so you may see our code. And what we should see is the donut on the center of our screen. Oh, 0 0.5. Let me just <laughs> clear this out. It's not 0 0.5, it's the screen size with a percentage. Okay, screen size, height, percentage. So we will build and run again and we should see that donut. But now, once we do have this donut in there, we can tap on it and it says donut tap, okay? But we want to add a lot of donuts, so maybe we want to add, let's say, 10 donuts. So let's do that and we will do that with a for loop, okay? And now we will create our donut inside our for loop, so let's add that here and now we want to position that for i in i'm sorry for that it's a simple for loop but i just forgot the in so uh, we want the positions to be random so let us just 
goal here be, uh, instead of 0 0.5 I will just type in here CG float and I will uh, choose random and here for the minimum I will choose 0, 0.0 and the maximum should be 1 well not the whole size so let's just choose 0 0.5 that should be the biggest size in width okay and the screen size height should be CG point uh, uh, CG float random 0 0.5 and 0, 0 0.0 the minimum and the maximum should be 0 0.5 well, no, no, and I am sorry, this is the position, not the scale. I was referring to the scale, so let's add the screen width percentage with the scale from 0 to 0 0.5. And now we should get uh, 10 randomly positioned and randomly scaled donuts, uh, well, for the first donut image across the screen. So let's build and run and see if we did that correctly. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, now we want to randomize the donut images. So for that, let's create here a variable and that will be int because we need an integer uh, and we create it from a CG float uh, random and the minimum will be 1.0 and the maximum will be I believe 96 but I need to check okay uh, 1 is the first and 96 is the last okay let's go back so we are taking a CG ran random CG float and we are converting it into an int then we are adding it as we are appending it to the donut string name and now we can replace our string here to image named now let's build and run and see all of those varied donuts okay good stuff now uh, let us just create this let here okay now next thing we want to do is uh, maybe make this a little larger so let's add 29 so and the other one is the positions so the screen width should be between 0 0.2 and 0 0.8 because I see that it has been positioned right right to the top and we don't want to do that we want to see most of the uh, donuts and the same goes here for our height 0 0.8 okay let's build and run again and see how all of this looks like okay good stuff now we are inside we are more inside our uh, screen and I would just correct the height to be 0 0.1 and 0 0.9 and the width too. This should be enough. I have overstated. Now we have 29 here, okay? Let's build and run. And uh, for brevity, I will just copy. Yeah, this looks much, much better. Okay, and now we need to create our biggest donut. So as you can see, the scale we are scaling it to the maximum of 0 0.5. Now I'm going to add a new special donut that needs to be uh, tapped. So I will just type in here wrong donut tab. And let me just copy this out and paste it here. And I will type here and this will be uh, of course an, again an image named choose a random image here replace all of the donuts with the winner donut we are adding it as a child and now we are not scaling it to a random size we will scale it to let's say 0 0.6 so we this it is the largest donut on the screen and of course we are positioning it 
as a random and again we are we want it to be on the very top so the z position should be two and you can see uh, the other donuts are a one and now let us just build and run and see how all of this goes i will just this maybe add it later on but okay and I believe this will be the biggest donut so let me just tap it yes winner donut tap and if I tap on anything else then the wrong donut was tapped good stuff uh, now maybe all of these little donuts are not that interesting so I just make a little correction here so the scale should be around like, let's see 0 0.25 yeah and that should look okay now uh, let's uh, worry let's stop a little bit and add our background let me just copy it from our main menu okay here we go and type it here okay here we have our background and let us copy all of this chunk of code and add it to a new so setup function setup uh, maybe you don't see it so I just give you some room here and I'm just paste it in here and let me just clear all of this and type in here setup donuts uh, this is much simpler let's just do that okay inside main menu let uh, me just copy out all of these two setup nodes and add the nodes here and I will just paste it before our setup donuts so let me just add our function of setup nodes first and add nodes function second okay and finally, we will need to add our background position. And I will just need to fix this CG0, CG.0, because now we need to add 0 0.5 here and 0 0.5, because the anchor point is at the bottom left corner of our screen. And finally, we will add our child uh, this seems to be working fine and now let's build and run again okay uh, what is the problem here well yeah not zero point it seems to be cg.0 I will not complain and just simply change it as it is okay cg.0 what seems to be the problem here so background position here we have our background oh okay i just figured it out okay it will be cg point again my old mistake not cg point 0 0.5 it will be screen size dot width multiplied by 0 0.5 you most already guessed it if you uh, have watched all my previous videos on the topic okay 0 0.5 now let's build and run again and we should get the background let me see there it is we have a valid background good stuff now uh, all i want to do is uh, add our score label so i want it to be here at the top or center of our screen so I believe we already have on the game over a label now you just copy this out yeah here we have our title okay let me just copy this go into the gameplay and after the background I will just create this uh, like so for example I would just type in here zero 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 okay for our text at this point and now I want to add our position for the score well maybe we need to add the score label because the score will be an integer that will store the actual score of our our gameplay so score multiplied and now I want it to be 
well almost at the top of our screen so I will just type in 0 0.9 well, let's take a look how all of that looks so add child and while we are here I will just type in here a variable score and that will be an integer and I will just simply type in here score score uh, but it doesn't really uh, know what this score means so I will just first of all make it a simple string and interpolate it and maybe add here a lazy variable and that should take care of this warning with well this error now let's type it in and let's see if the score is displayed a big zero here should be displayed well the z position is two and i can already see that this was the biggest so i would just type in here for the z position a big 10 so it would be above everything let's see now here we have it a zero and we want a larger font so let's say 46 should be okay and I can see that it's pretty easy to recognize the biggest donut here and I will just set the biggest donuts screen with percentage to be let's say 52 so uh, we might get a little harder of guessing our biggest donut okay let's take a look at the score there we have it it's it is fairly simple maybe I will just make it a little larger, eight, uh, 58. Okay, now that we have uh, this logic in place that we are saving our score into the variable, we want to, uh, well, first of all, we want to, ch to check if we have tabbed on the right, on the correct donut and let's just test it out. Yes, winner donut was that. Well, I have sort of guessed. Well, it's it's a little bit of a child's game, this one. And when we do, we want to increase the score by one. So I will just go in uh, back down here and create a function. And I will just call this function when our winner donut was that. And because we are in a closure, we are with uh, uh, we are going to use self okay now score is plus equals one so we are setting the score and now we want to update labels well score label because we only have one uh, label here so score label and we are going to create this function above here again we do a lot of functions but make sure it is kind of a um, good rule of thumb to make our functions no more than let's say 20, 20 or 10 or 20 lines of code. So we want to refactor whenever it is possible. So update score label. So it is pretty simple. So we grab our score label and the, we change the text property to be our score and that is pretty simple okay now what we want to do next is uh, remove all of these donuts and create a new set of donuts okay and now uh, let us just do let's let's name it this and i will just copy this well I believe we uh, should add this start to uh, bef uh, before our setup donuts. So let's type in here func start new board. And here, first of all, we want to remove our donuts if there are any. Of course, we uh, there are, and that is with. Uh, an enumeration of all our nodes inside the scene and we want to find only the donuts so for that uh, first of all we need to add our donuts and we do that with the winner donut too of course and maybe we want well let's let's try this maybe we want to add our 
sprites name, but let's see if this works. Okay, so we have added our donuts and now we want to enumerate through all of our uh, nodes. So first of all, well, let's create a new function. So and inside our function of remove all donuts, we will let me just scroll up here enumerate child nodes with name and we want to enumerate through all of them so I believe this is what we need to add here and here we have our node and uh, for the unsafe mutable pointer let's type in stop okay now we need to check if our nodes name is donuts so maybe we need to find uh, tune this function but let's see how all of this works out so we want to from parent so we want to remove all of them okay this looks kind of okay so let's see uh, we are starting a new board we are removing all donuts when we are tapping on the uh, correct winner donut so let's go ahead and build and run and I believe this is the one and correct winner donut was tapped and the score was updated and all of the donuts were uh, removed okay that seems uh, pretty good now let's handle uh, the other way when we are uh, running <laughs> when we tapped on the wrong donuts so let's go down here and what we want to do is just simply go to the game over scene i would just copy uh, the function the transition function from here act manager and go back to the game play and we will go to the game over scene and we want to add this function inside our wrong donut tapped uh, completion handler and of course we call it from self okay that takes care of that and uh, well maybe we want to save but that will be done uh, just a little bit later on and now that we have all of this let's see how all of this works out well uh, before we do that uh, we want to set up a donuts after we have removed all the donuts okay and maybe i will just rename this that seems to be okay and now let's build and run and let's see how all of this works out and maybe we will just continue 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 and find the biggest donut we have an error here and what seems to be the problem yeah we don't have a game over uh, scene type so let's go into the ACT manager and let's go up here and the scene will be game over again and uh, let's jump to this definition and type in here game over okay this time it should perfectly run okay build has succeeded let's go back to our gameplay here good i already see that it is uh, this one yes it was and this one and this one well maybe this one yes it was this one no it wasn't i missed uh, that one and here we have game over score a best score now what we need to do now is save this score and best score to the user defaults and that can be easily added uh, how we did uh, with the act player stats and i believe we already have that yes and we can set the score and get the score and of course set best score and get best score now in our gameplay we want to set the best, set the score simply so act player stats dot shared and set score 
and that will be our well when we not on the update i am sorry when we tapped on the wrong donut so before we transition okay and of course you know that ict player stats uh, set score takes care of setting the best score if that is the case. Now uh, we want to go to the game over scene and populate our uh, label. And let's just here we are our score label, and we will ask here for ACT player stats dot shared dot and a get score and on the best or ACT player stats dot shared dot get and this time around get a best score and if you don't know what I'm talking about here go ahead and take a look at the scores and best scores video of our uh, advent calendar tutorial series good stuff uh, now let us just build and run and maybe take a look at what we have achieved so far And I can see that it is pretty simple to play, so I will just tweak the numbers again. Let's go to the gameplay. And now, inside our donuts, I will just add here the screen with percentage to be from, let's see now, 48 to 0 0.5. And let's see how all of this works out. Okay, much, much better. I really can't figure out that maybe it's this one. Yes. And maybe it's this one. No, it wasn't that one. Okay, now here we have the score and the best score. And we want to replay again. Let's see. Uh, do we have that implemented? No, not just yet. Let's do that now. Uh, let's go to a game over and Let's go to our replay button and add this gameplay. We want to transition to our gameplay. And let's build and run again. And while we are at it, let's take a look if we do have implemented. Uh, let's, I believe, this one. Uh, maybe this one. No, it wasn't that good sign because it got harder and harder okay let's uh, replay and test it yes it did replay our gameplay let's go up to the second and now i would just tap anywhere else and now you should see that its score is two and the best score is two and now i want to lose so you may see the best score is displayed correctly so score is two okay now let's go back to our gameplay and let's see if we do have it implemented yes we do have that implemented and now uh, that is uh, all that we need to do for the gameplay to work and i'm really satisfied it looks good it plays good and if you did like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and if you haven't already done so shame on you go ahead and subscribe to the channel to see more videos of me uh, this, for these tutorials okay i will see you in the next one where we implement some more magic to our code okay talk soon